Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from Worship Media Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to work on ProPresenter and the Backgrounds tool. Now, this Backgrounds tool is a very powerful tool, and surprisingly, not too many uh, Worship Media departments know about that. So we're going to jump into this tool, and we're going to work on one uh, feature, one solution that I think you're going to find very attractive and it's going to just enhance the worship service. Now the idea here is being able to transition between um, backgrounds on the same song. So let's say verse 1 and 2 is going to be a particular background and 3 and 4 you might want to swap out the background. But if you did that with this color and this color it could be very distracting or even more dramatically this color and this color uh, it really won't work with with having multiple backgrounds inside of a same song so uh, let's talk about that let's jump into this tool here now this is what I've already done this is actually the end result this one and this one is the end result so I'm going to show you how we got there now I, I used these two backgrounds and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete uh, these backgrounds here so that we can start from scratch and I'm going to delete that one so I'm just right click delete okay so now I have my two different backgrounds and as you can see this is kind of distracting maybe not too distracting but it, nevertheless it's, it is distracting because it's two separate color schemes um, depending on the song it might not matter this one and this one is definitely distracting to go between the two of them or even if you get brighter now these are natural tones so natural tones might be safe to use these three backgrounds inside of a single song without changing a thing but let's jump into the tool and see how we do this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to properties and inside properties I'm pulling up this backgrounds tool as you can see there's a actually a lot we can do in here I can even change the the behavior of this tool of this background but I'm gonna keep it as a loop and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess around with hue now uh, one more thing actually let's let's uh, back out of this I'm gonna show you another piece here to look at the rate to look at the speed of your background to see if they're already synced or you need to sync those two so I click on this one I look in my preview window I see the speed I click on this one I look in my preview window essentially these are the same speed so we don't have to mess around with that okay so sorry about that let's go back into properties and now I'm gonna mess around with the color now I already know that green is the best color to use and uh, like a green it's kind of a greenish blue and really the first background you do want to work on is this background uh, because this is the most complex there's a lot of different colors here where well, this is more uniform but I already know what it is so I'm gonna jump to a green I might have to come back because I kinda did this in reverse fashion but there we go I pretty much have this as my color I'm not gonna mess around with saturation or contrast the rate is fine I can show you what that looks like though if you bump it up and see a lot more faster maybe you want to have the same background different rates in the verse but let's just keep it like that that's a whole other lesson in itself now uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mess around with this one and I am going to change it to a green as well kind of a green uh, let's see here there we go probably as close as I can get and it kind of matches up this purplish green bluish green with this one as well so I'm, I could also mess around with saturation and maybe I can accomplish a little bit more but it looks like I can't and I don't wanna I don't wanna go darker because there's already kind of a darker border around here it might drown it out so there you have it so now I have two backgrounds they're pretty much the same color so it's not gonna be distracting and this is what it'll essentially look like so I have this verse I have this verse let's say this one I wanna change it up and then this one I want to change it up and you can see uh, the general idea here so hopefully this was very informative of course there's many other things you can do inside the backgrounds tool let me know your thoughts with the comments below God bless